To identify a winner out of those two sandwiches, there's one significant upsetting item that you never ever want to see on a sandwich. That is Benjamin speaking. Benjamin, Chef Ramsay will be taking you guys to one of LA's oldest and most famous French restaurants. So I need everybody up. Yes, Chef. Wake up. I'm excited to be getting out of here. Get pretty, smell good, no real heel. So if I have to cook, I can cook, or if I have to run, I can run. I have no idea what's happening. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. Why are you looking so smart? There was sawdust on the floors. It was all old and rustic. And Chef Ramsay was looking at us like we were stupid, so overdressed. First of all, welcome to Philippe's. This restaurant has been here for over 100 years. Wow. wow. Now, this restaurant is the birthplace of the French dip. I had no idea that the French dip sandwich originated there. I actually didn't know that Los Angeles was noted for anything. Let me introduce you to someone very, very special. Richard Binner, come on. How are you, sir? Fine, Chef. How are you? Good to see you. The legendary French dip started how? Quite by accident. Philippe was making a sandwich, and he actually dropped the roll into the pan of gravy. And uh, the customer says, I'll take it that way. So that's kind of the start of the French dip sandwich. Let's go and find out what exactly made this restaurant famous all over the world, yes? Yes, yes. Sure. Let's go. Great. Chef Ramsay was such a delight. I even had the nerve to sit next to him this time. So, you know, it was a good day for me. We're going to do this together. Everyone, pick up your sandwich. Yeah? <laughs> One. Two. Je What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. I'm just trying to get this right when you buy that. OK. For real this time, yes? One, two, three. Mmm. This is mm. good. Just melts in your mouth. Quite amazing. Something so simple can be so popular and can translate across the world. For your next challenge, I want to test each and every one of you for your level of creativity. When we get back to Hell's Kitchen, you've each got 30 minutes to create an amazing gourmet sandwich. These are the ingredients. Have a good look. I thought it was a pretty neat challenge. But, you know, it's, it's still hard. It's still got to come up with all these ingredients to make the sandwich taste as good as that French dip did. Do you enjoy the French dip? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Now, create something just as exciting. Yes? Yes, yes sir. sir. OK, let's go. About this challenge, I'm totally psyched. I love when we can cook our own food. The sandwich is going to be fucking awesome. I'm kind of one of those people. I can be sweet, I can be salty, I can be spicy. So I think I need to put more of my personality into my food, and my sandwich is really going to represent who I am. In this challenge, each chef will have 30 minutes to create a gourmet sandwich. The team with the most points will win the challenge. Somebody grab the challah bread. Chef Ramsay has selected this challenge so that he can test the chef's ability to be innovative. Where do you see wasabi at? Got it. He will be looking for each chef to come up with a unique combination that will result in an outstanding gourmet sandwich. Is anybody looking for tuna? I got my tuna already. Make sure you cut the bloodline off it, Devon. Yeah, my tuna doesn't have much of the bloodline on it, actually. By far, Benjamin has it out for me. He thinks he's this hot shot and stuff. If I can prove to myself that I can kick some butt, Chef Ramsay sees that that's all that matters. His opinion to me, I don't give a shit. Did anybody grab the challah bread? Challah? Challah bread. Challah bread? Challah bread. Siobhan, driving me fucking nuts. Last 10 minutes, yes? Yes, Chef. 10 minutes, Siobhan. 10 minutes, Siobhan. Thank you, Ben, yes. While Siobhan works hard to prove herself to her teammates, over in the blue kitchen, every chef is working to make something truly original. Foie gras mayonnaise might be one of the best things ever. Jay, I was thinking that. I didn't go with it. I think Jay's my biggest competition, absolutely. Jay's ready to work hard, and I'm ready to work hard. What do you think, Jay? Last minute, guys. Let's go. It's another thing you can do now, anyway. Let's go, guys. 15 seconds to go, guys. Let's go. That's the sandwich. That's it. And time, guys, yes? Red team, one, two, three, four, five of you against the blue team. Let's make it even, shall we? Decide who has the worst sandwich. 30 seconds. Is anybody not happy with this? I, mean, I, I love mine. I like mine. I like mine. The bread is not good with so soft bread, and then the I sear like looks my, light. I don't care. I like my sandwich. I'm not backing down. If I got Siobhan's sandwich when I was eating it at a restaurant, I'd be fucking pissed, and I would fucking want my money back. I think it's the worst sandwich here. I think it is, too. I think it is, I'm too. sorry. Yeah. It doesn't look cooked enough. Every time, it's bang down, bang down, bang down, bang down. Who's standing out? Siobhan, chef. Siobhan. Let's go. Ed and Ben. OK, Benjamin, 
I have a pan-seared ahi chef with a salad of watercress, spiced olives, and a ciabatta. Tuna cooks beautifully. Lemon juice at the end just wakes up the whole sandwich. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Ed, what is it? Grilled ahi open face sandwich. It sits on top of grilled sesame bread with sabi mayonnaise underneath, a little bit of fresh mint and chive. It's delicious. This is tough, very tough. Um, it goes to both of you. Thank well you done. Chef. Thank you, Chef. 1-1. One, one. Really good start. Holly and Jason, please. Let's go. Holly, ladies first. What is that? OK, it's pumpernickel bread, smoked duck breast, caramelized onions, and also a little bit of prosciutto. It's definitely an ambitious sandwich. It worked. Thank you, Chef. You know, I know it was a good sandwich. I'm just glad that he enjoyed it as well. Jason, what is that, please? Lobster coleslaw, sloppy joe, sandwich chef. How did you cook the lobster? I uh, steamed the lobster in the steamer, chef. Nice seasoning on the slaw. Decision, tough on this one. Congratulations. Holly. Thank you, chef. And Jason. Both of you have got it. Thank you, chef. Yeah? Thank you, chef. Well done. Hey, great start. Really good start. 2-2, two, two, guys. Fran and Jay, let's go. Fran, off you go. What is that? It's balsamic chicken with um, roasted peppers. I think chicken with roasted peppers, that's like circa 1982. You've managed to make that chicken um, delicious. Thank you. Uh, Jay, explain to me what it is, please. I did a, a country pork pate with a little bit of foie gras fat, and then I made a quick slaw, sort of Vietnamese influence, and a little bit of romaine hearts. It stands up well. Thank you, Sean. It tastes delicious. Thank you. To identify a winner out of those two sandwiches, there's one significant upsetting item that you never, ever want to see on a sandwich. That is soggy bread. Soaking soggy on the inside. My biggest mistake was not toasting the inside of the bread, but that's just the way, I guess, Italians like it. Congratulations. Thank Jay, you. Well done. Thank you. What a shame. 3-2 to the blue. Autumn and Nelka, let's go. Right, this is... A roasted pork with arugula, red onions, and I did a truffle mayonnaise. Very uh, adventurous. It tastes delicious. Autumn, yes, what is that? Roasted pork loin with sautéed vegetables that have a little balsamic reduction added to it. Tastes yeah. good. What happened there? Why is it cut awkwardly? Is there a problem with the knife? No, I thought it was fine. You thought it was fine? Well, let me tell you, presentation looks shocking. That's the kind of thing I'd expect from a sort of first-year culinary student, not from you. Congratulations, Nelka. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. It sucks. It sucks that everyone gets a point on your team except for you, and it just makes you feel like a loser. Uh, unfold your arms, Autumn, please. You may be upset with your boring sandwich, but don't take it out on your team. OK, I've got to break the tie. Siobhan. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate that. That, that just sucks. I mean, we're going to have to rely on her to get the job done. There's no fucking way. What is it? It's uh, ahi tuna on chala bread with San Andreas cheese. There's some grilled pineapple, oranges, and prosciutto. Mm. I actually prefer that to Fran. Thank you, Chef. Red team, you should have sent Siobhan's dish instead of Fran's. For that, blue team, you win. I am so sick of it. They think I can't fucking cook. My sandwich was better than Fran's. They didn't want to put me up there. It's their fucking fault. We lost the challenge because of it.